President Joe Biden, under fire from lawmakers, said on February 9 he did not view a suspected Chinese spy balloon that transited the United States before it was shot down in the Atlantic Ocean to have been a major security breach. Biden, who has sought to maintain communications with China and not allow tension with Beijing to get out of control, said in an interview that he did not regret shooting down the balloon sooner. He said US military officials were worried that by shooting it down over land the balloon and its parts could drop into a polluted area the 200 foot tall balloon along with its undercarriage of electrical gadgetry was shot down by a US fighter jet off the coast of South Carolina on February 4 the US military has been recovering as many parts as possible the amount of uh intelligence gathering is going on by every country around the world is overwhelming And the idea that a balloon could traverse uh break American airspace is uh anyway it's it's not a major breach. I mean look, it's totally it's a violation of international law. It's our airspace and once it comes in our space we can do what we want with it. No, I think it's the expert, the intelligence community, the defense community. They forgot more about it than you or I know. I said I wanted to shut down as soon as possible and they were worried about the damage that could be done even in a big state like Montana. This thing was gigantic. What happened if it came down and hit a school in the rural area? What happened if it came down? So I told them as soon as they can shoot it down, shoot it down. They made a wise decision. They shot it down over water, recovering most of the parts and they're good. And you're not considering and you wouldn't consider deporting massively non-Mexican immigrants to Mexico. I'm saying we have not done that. And but would you consider it in the future once title 42 is lifted? I don't think we have to do that. We have to consider that. Okay. So oh, that we were moving we believe all pl- political prisoners should be released. Now whether this is a token of their demonstration that they're ready to begin to change their human rights policies or not remains to be seen. But uh um the fact that they were released, we're happy to receive them and I'm glad they're out. we are I feel good about the way things are and I feel good about the reception I get and uh I think it's awful difficult to uh to pull these days you know you get I'm not don't hold me the number but I think you have to something to make like 51 calls to get one call through I, and ask what ask any pollster how accurate they think their polling is yeah but look uh, it may be that you know I run and I get clobbered and if I run I win I mean that's not my motive that's not the base upon which I make the the judgment Where, would there be a difference running against Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis? They have a similar modus operandi, they the similar way in which they they work. Um but I I really don't know. I've never decided to run or not run based on who the opponent will be. Okay. How's your Spanish doing? It's terrible, but Jill's trying to learn it too. Is she's, she? she's doing it. I I I think I told you when I was uh, uh a younger senator uh The distinguished senator from Texas Lloyd Benson said to me, you know, I think someday you're going to be president. I said, "Oh, just like I said, but if you're going to be, you got to learn to speak Spanish." Yeah. <laughs>